Okay, I'm back. Um, the rain somehow mysteriously went away and the sun is still shining. So um, I'm still um, backfilling the hole and I'm going ahead and compress the soil and I'm going to feed it and then water it. So I broke off one of my new buds. So this one here is a bit this damage guys so I'm gonna go ahead and snip that off so let me go ahead and fill this in Remember in South Florida we have sand as our soil. That's, that is why that rose was probably so easy to come up and I am not complaining at all. So um, with my bud union, I am trying to keep it a little bit above soil because I bought another rose which it was buried under the soil in the pot and that whole entire rose bud union was rotted out so all of my roses here I have vis um, I can visualize and see all of my bud union so this will get mulch and anyways to protect it but usually I stop where I see where everything meets up and that right there I think I'm gonna just leave it just like that I'm gonna go ahead and get my pruners and snip this poor little fella off and feed it and then water it.
So now I have it on mist and I'm gonna give it a nice soaking because guys um I'll be going back to work so but luckily I'll I'll, I'll be still working in Florida here so once I um I'm gonna try to come home on the weekends to tend to my little garden and my project that I have going on over there which is the painting I'm still not finished with the painting I still have this um, the seams there to paint and the shutter to paint and yeah um, at least I'll be not too far like maybe like um, a four hour drive so Normally when I plant my roses, I try to live, um, leave like a little um, trench. So the water could um, collect and settle in. So there you go guys. It's being watered and fed. some of your good looking babies I'm so excited guys so um, I'm gonna go ahead and mulch this area also I have one more one more bush to plant and unfortunately this hybrid tea is gonna have to go back to the store so bye bye and hello Austin oh yeah so this is the um, Lady of Shabbat variety and I'm pretty excited to bring in different colors because in my rose garden um, this was this is one of the color I have so far so I'm, I'm pretty happy to bring in a little lavender um, a little peachish pinkish color and I also ordered a white and a like a deep red variety because I think I'm getting addicted to the um the Austin kind I love the look I love the smell oh my gosh the smell of this rose was taken it, it smells like honey that's what it says it, it has this just like this I can't even say the word it, it smells really pretty guys so I'm gonna water this little baby for a bit and I'll come back and show you when I'm mulching I have one more rose to plant I think I have the um, I think it's the baby face I have the baby face to plant and I think I'm going to put her I think I'm going to put her so that one of the pinkish peaches I think I should have put that back here a little bit but it's okay I think I am because I have, in addition to that rose, I have four more rows coming, so I know I'm going to have to move this. I'm going to probably start putting bromeliads in between these um, knockouts over there. So, because these are just, um, these are, these are animals. I mean, they're, they, these are like perennials slash animals. They only come up um, for a certain time and then they they um, kind of die back and then you have normally I winterize mine I, I'll dig my um, gladioluses up and put them in a the refrigerator until um, springtime again so I'll put them out to dry for a little bit and then I will go ahead and 
plant them back up for the next season in spring and they come right back up guys because um i have a couple that i didn't um i didn't winterize them and they came back up by themselves so i don't know i i i, I'm, I don't know i guess you probably get better um blooms with when you you know for me in south florida you know we don't really have freeze time and like that so yeah that's what i um did so i'm gonna go ahead and turn that faucet down so she can take a good soaking because what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and soak all of these um roses so keep on watching I can smell that little rose here. It's breathtaking. So I'm just trying to map out the location for my next rose, guys. Okay guys, so while that is watering in, uh -oh. I have the pipe on low, I need to turn it up a little bit more, so I'm just going to walk over to the faucet. 
Um, I need to plant that. It's a plum plumeria. It's that kind there. It's like um, a cream color with yellow in the middle. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And it smells awesome, guys. And I was painting and I snapped off a uh, part of the branch. But no worries. Um, I'll go ahead and stick that into some soil. Water it down. And I'll have a nice little tree from that. And here are my bromeliads. Um, these are all paint chips, guys. I need to clean up this little bed here. Because I ended up I had to peel away some more of this um, paint chips so yeah I just have some cleaning up to do and you know as I said this um, garden bed is, is a work in progress so turn this up a little bit more my bromeliads they're doing so far so good still looking happy very happy and guys make sure if you do have bromeliads you um, make sure you keep water into the cups which I have water in all my cups because we had a bit of rain yesterday this one is a little bit low I probably need to put some more in here yeah I need to put some water in here so yes guys so and I have the um, amaryllises. They're coming up. This is another one here. It's coming up. This one doesn't have any leaves at all. So yes, guys. another plumeria I need to plant broke off and I have some more amaryllis coming up I'm gonna go ahead and get me a cow manure because I found a location where I'm gonna plant my lavender rose hello mama hello As you can see, she's getting watered in. I'm gonna just water everyone in. And I need to feed them before I leave here. I already fed them and I noticed when I feed my roses, they give me blooms. So I need to feed them again because they're pushing out new shoots um, before I go to work because I need to start working next week, Monday. So basically I have like a couple of days to get all this wrapped up and um, hit the road because I'll be driving to the location so um, for the lavender rose guys I'm gonna go ahead and smack it right here it's gonna come right here because I'm trying to make like a V or a W or a zigzag so that one she's out by the end I have one here then I have another one there. Then I'm gonna put my lavender here, my lavender, um, the, the baby face. And then that's what I'm basically doing. As you can see over there, everything is like in a V, a zigzag pattern. Um, my sprinkler system is, is it was kind of installed if it, um, the person that did it initially didn't didn't do a great job 
so I had to um, pay for another guy to come out and do it and he still didn't do a good job we you know he was very argumentative and I would not recommend that guy to no one and I'm still not happy with the placements and let me show you what I'm talking about guys because I'm, I'm not just talking by just talking so this is out by the street and sometimes um, when the driveway is full of guests they'll tend to want to come here and park which you know I'm gonna have to stop doing um, stop that because um, a couple years ago my, my mom she had a coconut tree right there so as you can see we had a we have like patterns where we have coconut trees along here so in the gaps there are my sprinkler heads and I told the guy this is this is literally this is like um, maybe like a week later this is literally what he um, he has done I told him that I needed the sprinkler heads to be at least an inch below the sun level and guys this is like literally guys look here I'm, 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 I'm not exaggerating or nothing like that because somebody can pull up and drive over my 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 um, and break my sprinkler heads off so right now that sprinkler head is sitting my that sprinkler head is sitting literally come on focus camera come on okay it's sitting at least um like an inch and a half two inches from um, the soil level and it, 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 that's the case all over because this one um i think um i have a friend who drove over this one so hopefully it's not broken i didn't turn it on to see if it if, if it's messed up so yeah everywhere you look guys the, the sprinkler heads are way way up and they're pop-ups they're they're, they're pop-ups they're supposed to be below the soil level and you know th this is the this is the kind of job that they come and give me they think because i'm a female they, they you know I, I i don't know what i'm talking about you know what i'm saying because look guys here's another one right here these sprinkler heads should be below soil level. I mean, look at this, guys. You think I should be looking at a pop-up and and seeing all of this labeling and stuff? Look, look, look at that, guys. You know, this this is just ridiculous. This is just so such a rip-off, if you ask me. You know, what, what, what kind? What what is this? This is not buried at all. And look at that. That is that is my um. The, the piping for, for the sprinkler system what the hell what is that I'm so upset guys I'm, I'm really so upset I'm, I'm not happy with the sprinkler work so I I have another person to come and look at it so it's three people to fix one damn mess I, you know I'm just kind of upset and I just want this to be over and done with because all of this guys I'm, I'm paying I'm paying for, for the services I, this, this is not free work but you know it, it is a it, you know it is like a sideman kind of job and you know it's really true sometimes you just get what you pay for but you know I'm here to plant my rose not to complain but you know I, I just wanted to point that out guys because you know it's just you know it's just hmm. I'm just getting worked up just talking about it but you know you live and you learn guys so in the meantime, let me go ahead and plant my baby face. So if you like what you see, keep on watching. And I'm going to, when I get down into the hole, I'll go ahead and bring you guys closer and um, let you see what's going on. So let me start digging.
lot of rocks. Right here somewhere. Got a root right there. It looks like a coconut root. Okay guys, I'm going to bring it closer so you can see down in the hole. I hope you don't topple over again. this little flimsy tripod I need to invest into a better stable tripod not a rock right here get rid of this bucket of sand Trying to dig the hole a bit wide for that pot plus to backfill it with some cow manure slash compost. Oh, got some rocks here too. It's a big one here. I think I feel another one down there, guys. Yesterday I really dug, dug up a big heavy one. Ouch. That's a lot guys. I'm using the shovel too to cut those little roots and I could tell it's they look like coconut roots because I know definitely it's not the rose root. Roots. 